friends this video we are going to see the basic line problems so we can see about what are the types of the prob line problem will be there so first the same first quadrant we are going to consider for all the problem we are going to consider here after only under the first quadrant so here let us consider this pen as the line so here i, I am saying this end this nib end will be uh, set as the starting point and this end will be set as the second point end point so this can be for example this can be named as a and this can be named as b okay now this line is now this is a line this lying lie is the line is lying on the ground now just i am going to lift it up so now i can say this line is parallel to the table parallel to the ground okay now i am just going to tilt it like this i am just going to tilt it like this and here i can say the line is perpendicular to the ground the line is perpendicular to the ground so here the top first end starting end is at the top and the end point the line would end point with here it is at the back so here the end point we are not going it is not visible okay and the starting point is visible now so this is what the line problem will comes so here in this problem the full length of the line is visible so we, i can say this is the true length and here here we cannot see the full length of uh, length of the line only this end point alone we are able to see so here it, the true length is not visible true length is just a point here it is not a true length it is just a point here it is not clearly visible look at here can you able to see the full length of this line no because it is just inclined to the ground it is just inclined to the ground for this case it is not uh, the true length is not clear only the view length is available here this is the view length this is the total length it is available for for our vision okay this is not clearly visible right so this is inclined here i we have said only the horizontal plane we can also consider the vertical plane if the vertical plane is considered look at here if in this case in this case means how we will say this is the problem okay i will take as uh, short as one this is a line means now the line is parallel to hp and also parallel to vp here i can say the line is parallel to both the planes now i am just going to tilt it like this what happen now the line is perpendicular to vp and parallel to hp now i am going to tilt it in this way okay now i can say this line is perpendicular to hp and parallel to vp so this is first we have seen the parallel to both the plane second we have seen perpendicular to any one of the plane this is the second one and third one we are going to see this is inclined to one plane this is what the way this is inclined to one plane this is inclined to one plane and parallel to other okay inclined to one plane and parallel to other look at here this is what the inclination this is inclined to vertical plane and parallel to horizontal plane inclined to so here the third one is inclined any one of the plane and parallel to another plane so this is a third case it, it may be either hp or vp so we don't want to bother about it whatever the problem we are we are clearly seeing it here next inclined to both the planes so how it will be in inclined so here it is it should touch or above the horizontal plane or it should touch the vp or in front of the vertical plane and it should be inclined in this order it has to inclined in this order here while seeing from the front view this is the front view in the front view also it will be inclined and while seeing from the top view in the top view also it will be inclined so this is the position here so this is inclined to both the plane this is the final one we are going to see it right thank you so while seeing the basic line problem uh, how we are going to proceed the inclined to both the uh, yeah, sorry uh, while seeing the basic line problem first we are going to see how we are going to proceed parallel to both the planes so here i am just going to draw a xy line like this i just drawn a xy line so by this xy line this is x and this is y 
this is vertical plane and this is a horizontal plane next the line the question is given like this a line 50 mm long a line ab 50 mm long is 20 mm above hp and 10 mm in front of vp 20 mm above hp and 10 mm in front of vp it is parallel to both the plane it is parallel to both the plane draw the projection of the lines so i am just going to draw the one end projection line so like this i will be drawing so here i am going to mark it is 20 mm above hp and 10 mm in front of vp so here i am going to mark a 50 mm length of line so here i will be using this one so that a parallel line can be easily drawn So while drawing itself, I will drawing a dark line so that it will be very easy. So here also I will be drawing the 50 mm length of line like this. So this will be a parallel one. Now I am going to draw another end projection line like this. Another end projection line like this. Here I am going to name it. This is A dash, this is B dash and this is A, this is B and the line length the dimension also we need to mark it. That is fifty mm. One side marking at one side it itself it is enough because both the lines are same parallel. So now no need to mark a separate one for the front view. So here in this diagram, this is a x y line. So how we have drawn it is very simple. So this is the line x y line here you can imagine in this order okay so here the, the line one line is here you have projected at 20 mm above it is projected and another end is at here i will show it here one end is at here 20 mm above we have marked and 20 mm above we have marked at here and third uh, and 10 mm in front here it will be marked in this way so it will be marked at here this is the line problem which i have drawn here so this is called the front view this is called the front view and this is the top view so look at here after several practice only you will be able to understand you will be get very clear on the front view you are just drawn with a dash small letter b dash and here in the top view you have mentioned a small letter a and it is small letter b the x, y and this is vertical plane and this is horizontal plane. So this is front view and this is top view. So look at the line, only these 50 mm front view and this 50 mm top view alone itself it is visible, clearly visible. So this is what you have to make it very clear. Thank you.